What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today is a good day. It is a Saturday morning and we're here with Robert's BMW 1 Series with a V8 engine swap. Yes, this thing is incredible. Make sure you follow Robert on Instagram, uh, BMW 1M underscore V8 build. This thing has been built properly. Now you might wonder why we are here at this unusual spot well uh we just got sent away by the police because we were recording the sound and it was a bit too loud so this thing has been built by robert himself he has a uh, car company as well or a, a garage a workshop check out his workshop autobedrijf p de jong underscore on instagram this build has been done properly it is so amazing so today i'm going to show you around it i'm going to show you like the headlines of what robert has done to it and then we'll take it for a drive towards the autobahn for an autobahn blast so it started life out as a 123 diesel that had uh, some issues with the engine robert then bought the car from his customer and it kind of got out of hand from there so he bought uh, a wrecked bmw e92 m3 with the v8 engine and he basically swapped everything from that car into this one so subframe uh, engine gearbox is all bmw e92 m3 and then it's got a 1m body so you have the flared arches as well at the front and at the rear so you have that like super muscular square body looks super cool we've got an aftermarket bonnet as well and then the car also has a supercharger kit on it like a v8 in a one series wasn't enough he decided now nah, we need to to dial it up a notch which is very very cool so he built it over around three years uh after work basically and uh yeah it is glorious so wheels tires brakes suspension uh suspension is from an e92 so the edc dampers with uh h&r lowering springs and then we've got these these are 1m wheels basically right i think i'm not sure um but he is getting apex wheels on this car which is great we are also apex dealer and i absolutely love those wheels he's actually getting the wheels that we also have on the m3 so yeah great choice there robert behind that at the front we've got brakes from an alpha julia q and at the rear the brakes are from an m3 f80 always love that kind of stuff like on a frankenstein build that you have all these different things we've got the mirrors from from a 1m as well flared arches as i said and then at the rear we've got an akrapovich rear silencer for 1m looks super cool it's like a bit of an old school uh silencer carbon very very nice and then it has a valve and the rest of the exhaust is custom made for the car and it has a little silencer in the middle which is very nice so let's check out the engine so there we go the s65 v8 from an e92 with a massive supercharger on top so uh, robert actually had to basically customize the entire uh, supercharger belt system because it didn't fit in here so he said like the belts run super tight and uh, he had to configure reconfigure everything basically to make it fit but other than that it fits really well in here right really really well so apparently between 650 and 700 horsepower is what active autowerke uh, say this is their supercharger kit and apparently it took uh, quite a long time to get this like working and to fit in this car uh, but wow it does fit so let's head out for a drive I'm going to keep the valves closed because I don't want the police to come back because they were super nice and uh, yeah they just let us go and they were like yeah it's it's fine just don't do anything crazy so I'm not going to another really nice touch is that we've got the buttons from the DCT here uh, for the like aggressiveness of the gearbox and the shift times and then these buttons are from the e92 as well the power edc and dsc off buttons very very well done here in like the ashtray that looks super clean m3 e92 steering wheel as well and then we've got the valve controller over there so valves are closed right now 
It sounds really good. It's, it sounds racy and kind of high pitched. Really like that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to leave it in like this normal mode for a bit to see what that's like. Because it is an absolute beast of a car, but as long as you keep those valves closed, gearbox in like drive, traction control on, dampers in comfort, it drives like normally. It's <laughs> that's, that's incredible to me. Okay, so uh, that one, traction control off, that means that we can get the gearbox in the most aggressive setting. Well, you can hear the supercharger breathing. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of taking it easy now because I really don't want the police to come back. So yeah, we're, we'll, we'll get a bit of distance. And then after that thing there, we, we can see what this thing is all about. All right, so I'm keeping the valves closed still. Third gear, this is second gear. <laughs> oh wow, it, it feels. Oh, those valves, they do stop a lot of sound because I heard it with the valves open and it's very, very loud. That is amazing. Oh, okay, so let me open the valves now. There we go. So, listen to that. That's a big difference. <laughs> okay, so on to the Autobahn we go. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. How does this work so well? But before we hit the Autobahn, I just want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Petrol Vibes. We've got the F12 on the wall here. As you can see, we have used it to dress our workshop. It looks absolutely stunning. I love a good silhouette of a car. And you can buy this too at petrolvibes.com. It is made from two millimeter thick steel. They laser cut that. can even have one custom made of your own car if they don't have it in stock already. So go check out petrolvibes.com. They have a lot of cool cars. They've got motorcycles as well. And if you use the code AUTOTOPNL10, you get a 10% discount on your very own Petrol Vibes silhouette. Go check it out and enjoy the video. pull it pulls hard that's 300 of the speedo already now i do have to say that the speedo in this car the e92 is very very optimistic so that's not even close to 300 real kilometers an hour. Oh, it sounds so good. Now, let me tell you, it might sound good in here, but you hear that like high pitched, raspy V8 sound. On the outside, it's going to be epic. Martijn is on the bridge. Filming. Go! 
Oh, that's like 300 kilometers an hour GPS. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god. Why are you on the left lane? <laughs> Oh my god, it feels incredible this car. It also feels so much better than an E92 M3 because that car feels kind of heavy and a bit, you know, especially stock. They feel so sluggish uh, when you drive them now. It's a, it's a nice experience, but they kind of feel heavy and they're not that nice to drive. But this short wheelbase just makes it so explosive. <laughs> Listen to that sound, it sounds like, I don't know, it's so high, high pitched. Oh, holy moly. Another, let's do like a 100 to 200 run. I think we did like seven, seven seconds, seven six. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on, that is nice. so well it it works I mean I know that Robert has put so much time and effort in getting this to work like this but when you drive it it just feels like this is the way it's meant to be sound I don't think I've ever heard an M3 E92 sound like this and I think it's because you have that short exhaust of course it's custom made and then you have the one amp back box from a with that valve what a setup it also handles super nice it feels really stable I drove a one amp uh, once in the wet and I felt like I, I did not really trust that car I it did not it wasn't it wasn't really confidence inspiring you know and this is this feels like proper oh <laughs> oh those downshifts are so good and that supercharger breathing <laughs> Holy moly! Jeez. So he's getting cup two tires because he said these tires don't really grip that well. <laughs> Well, especially when it's cold or wet, I can imagine that it is a handful. Oh, little tunnel. Oh. Jeez Louise! The supercharger also, it fits this engine so well because it needs more power. It, it just, it's so underpowered this engine. It was already underpowered when they 
we're new. It's, it's just crying for that supercharger. Don't know if Martijn is still here. Yeah, he is. That must have sounded really good. Brakes. Don't want to lean on them too hard because I can feel they start to get hot. Oh. Listen to those shifts as well. So quick. Oh. I love my job. <laughs> How is this still? I mean, I, I am absolutely flabbergasted by this. Uh, we are the first people to drive Robert's car uh, besides him and that is just such a big honor to me and I really really appreciate it and I hope that I've been able to do this car justice and well let me tell you we drove a Ferrari SF90 yesterday which was epic but this <laughs> this kind of stuff is so special it really is oh Thank you so much, Robert, for letting us have a go in it. I really appreciate it. It's, it's incredible. It's been built right. Oh. <laughs> I could do this all day. It feels like the car wouldn't mind doing it all day either. Amazing. I'm going to end it here guys. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. Make sure you check out Robert and uh, his workshop on Instagram. I linked his uh, two profiles at the start of the video. You can check out this video if you want to watch another one or this playlist of POV reviews. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.